<sighs> if you're anything like me, you're just a little too dumb to sleep properly, as you can tell. I've tried lots of stuff, I read this gigantic book about sleeping, I've tried stuff like the 5am club, which is just waking up 5am, don't read the book, it's cringe. I tried lots of strategic habits and everything, but I'm a little too dumb, and I'm a night owl. I finish work at 5 or 6 p.m., cook, clean, spend time with my fiancé, and suddenly it's 8 p.m. My friends are also up late, so my evenings are reserved for some sweaty Han showdown sessions. Oh god. The update, yo! The update! My brain is also its calmest and most creative at this point at night, which is exactly why I'm writing this very script at 11 p.m. on a Friday. Also, because nobody's online to play hunt. And while weighing out my free time between basic survival, working, and enjoying myself, I bedtime procrastinated a few hours off of my sleep and added them to gaming. As every single time before, this isn't working out. But I don't care enough about myself to fix it. If only there was a magical app that could solve all of my tiny little problems. Sorry, sorry. Look, I might not care about myself, but I hella care about a really tired Eevee on the edge of collapsing, alright? Pokemon Sleep is so incredibly odd. The announcement felt like an utter joke. I didn't care about it at all, but here I am, month free, and I'm still playing it. I kid you not, Pokemon Sleep improved my sleep. I play Pikmin Bloom, I play Monster Hunter Go to walk more than the 50 steps I need from my home office back to my bed. I might as well improve my sleep with Pokemon Sleep while I'm at it. I can't wait for cooking with Kirby. But let's go back a few steps. What is Pokemon Sleep? At heart, it's a sleep tracker. Every week you pick an island and as cute as drowsy... <sighs> Guess who? Just randomly guessed how relaxo would be translated. It's not drowsy, it's Snorlax. But I thought it's drowsy, so for the remaining part of this video, I'll just call him drowsy <laughs> the entire time. And as cute as drowsy, joins you and lays there. You pick a team of five Pokemon, and throughout the day, they will pick berries for your drowsy. Your drowsy changes every week, and each one has different favorite berries that it demands, which double the points. Points? Wait, 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 what do you mean points? It's a sleep tracker, right? What do you need points for? Well, the more berries and meals your drowsy eats, the more sleep power it has. And that sleep power gets multiplied with the amount of time you sleep. And that determines how many Pokemon you see when you wake up. It makes perfect sense, trust me. You're always slightly out of frame. Once you hit that sleep button, your drowsy makes themselves comfy and starts snoozing. You can set your alarm and go to bed. And once you wake up, your sleep patterns get analyzed, the game determines your sleep type of the night, and voila! Look at this! So many cute Pokemon! And they are so freaking cute! Each Pokemon has a sleep type. If you're more of a dozy type, you might see Houndor, for example, while the deep sleepers get a Pichu. And here's another catch. Every Pokemon has multiple different cute as hell sleep styles, each with different rarities. And how exactly do you get these different sleep types? Well, by feeding your drowsy better berries, better meals, and, well, sleeping better. And a gameplay loop makes perfect sense, trust me. Each Pokemon on your team has an energy level. The higher the energy, the more berries they can find. Throughout the day, they slowly deplete that energy. So, if you sleep bad, they don't have enough energy, and no energy means no berries, means no drowsy power, means less sleep styles. But if you sleep for eight and a half hours, they are fully energized, have enough energy to go for the entire day, and can find more berries, resulting in more power, resulting in more Pokemon. So, if you wanna see cute Pokemon, you better care for your fucking sleep health. And it worked wonders for me, and my friends. We literally started reminding each other about going to bed sooner to hit those sleep points. And if we look at my sleep stats, my bedtime was usually at around 2am, waking up at 8, so with some time needed to fall asleep, and some good sleeping sessions on the weekend, I usually had like 40 hours of sleep 
per week, like six hours a day. But if we check Pokemon Sleep's data, that got a whole lot better over time. I'm suddenly sleeping a whole eight to 10 hours more on average, let's ignore that, each week. That's an hour more each day. And all of that literally just because I wanted to see some cute Pokemon. How amazingly wholesome is that? I mean, I'm still trying to get an Epsil since like, Three months that's not working out but it'll be fine other than that i'm fully recommending it there's nothing wrong with the game it's really amazing go and get it yeah that's that what do you mean there's competitive in the title i mean what's competitive about sleep are you are you that insecure <sighs> why is the video now? why are you still here wait, 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 wait we're just halfway through uh, so much for no longer than five minutes past me <laughs> This is my island after a whole week of sleeping, feeding my drowsy three times a day, we'll get to that, each Pokemon finding perfect berries, having a real good team, and I got to an amazing 333,333 sleep power, sure. So if I go to sleep one final time, my final sleep score is... 26.3 million, amazing! That feels great, right? Well, a player from Japan, having the exact same real-life playtime as me, but a bank account 10 times larger than me, got an astonishing 748 million fucking points! Uh, it's a free-to-play game, so it's gotta be paid to win, baby. How do you catch these Pokémon, you might ask? Well, Poké Biscuits, of course. And how do you get them? Every day you get a single free one. All right, but what if you need more? Your sleep duration also gives you an equivalent amount of points every day. And for 150 sleep points, it's like two okayish nights, you can buy a single Poké Biscuit, which gives you a single point in friendship. You need five for the most basic evolutions. You need like 30 for those rare Pokemon. Okay, 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 but what if that Absol comes around and I really, really want it? What if I just pay three euros for free fucking Poke Biscuits? Oh, you can buy instant berries, energy recovering pillows and other pay to win bullshit with the premium currency. That absolutely demolishes the fucking point of the game. So instead of paying, you could also just get competitive about it. If you check out the Pokemon Sleep subreddit for just like a minute, you'll see people creating calculators, exchanging friend codes and everything, checking their natures and asking whether the Pokemon is good or not, and using calculators to find out if your Pokemon is an S or an A tier. Spoiler alert, it's an F tier. My entire team is F tiers. Also, if you add friends in Pokemon Sleep, you sometimes get rare candies and other goodies to level up your mods faster. So everybody's adding random people to their friend list to get these little upgrades. And if your friends stop playing the game... Deleting a friend. Sorry, Chris, but you're not Pokemon sleeping with me anymore. One of the limited 50 friend slots just became a waste of space. Oh, this game can absolutely absorb you. You suddenly have to fight this urge to fake track 1.5 hours of extra sleep every time because you're not sleeping enough. And with that extra sleep, you could get more berries. And suddenly you stop using Pokemon Sleep as a sleep tracker. Pokemon Sleep turns into a mid-maxing minigame where you try to squeeze out the tiniest bit of dopamine out of it. Some mechanics start to annoy you. For example, you can create these meals I mentioned for your drowsy. Three times a day out of the ingredients some of your Pokemon find. And sometimes you can get an extra delicious bonus, which doubles your points, leveling up your cooking level faster, leading to more sleeping points. But since efficiency is key, you start to get deeply angry for every meal you missed. And I swear to God, this one specifically only worked because I was recording my screen. Cause oh my God, I haven't seen a bonus for two weeks now. Long story short, as I said before, I do recommend Pokemon Sleep. But please, don't fall into the pitfalls of trying to optimize your gameplay. This isn't the Dark Souls of Sleep Trackers. This is a cute game where you can see even cuter Pokemon each time you wake up. And maybe even cutest of all, that might help you to sleep a bit healthier, as it did for me. And if you want to try it out, you can add me as a friend. Let's improve our sleep together, shall we?